Bill has made thousands of dovetail joints and he started a chest of drawers for his grandsons and he couldn't figure it out. I built a number of boats. I built the furniture and, and you know, that takes up a lot of time. But, you know, as the years progressed, um, so did my Alzheimer's. I'm angry a lot, and Bill says that to me. Why are you so angry? And I'm angry because my best friend is, is drifting away. It was a result of how poorly he did on a memory test that they give for senior citizens that we got referred to Dr. Singer in Acadia. There is a doubling of the numbers of people with Alzheimer's disease. There is a critical, critical public health need because of the aging of our society and Alzheimer's disease you know, clearly is an age-related disease. So the best hope we have is of preventing or slowing the disease down. In order to do that, we need to create kind of a virtual academic medical center. So we're trying to create that through collaborations with local partners. Jackson Labs has been a mouse genetics uh, institute for more than 90 years. So we have huge amounts of expertise in mouse genetics, but what we don't have is access to patient data, patient records, patients themselves. Much of the discovery comes from both sides. So you can understand more about the disease in the mouse if you have mouse models that look like the human condition. And so there are benefits of having a close partnership with somebody studying the disease in humans and somebody you know, building the disease in, in the mice. Jackson Labs has had a um, relationship with the University of Maine for a number of years. We share a graduate program. Through Cliff, we were also introduced to people in the Department of Psychology interested in understanding kind of some of the, the, the early stages of Alzheimer's disease, things like sleep and blood vessel health. What if disruption of sleep was the earliest signs of neurodegeneration? Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, severe cardiovascular disease, diabetes. They often present with sleep problems without any contact with the patient's body. This device can actually pick up respiration and movement and their integration that our software can tell you whether or not the person is sleep deprived. And we have a medical report that provides that information to the physician. It's much easier to operate because it's in people's home rather than in the sleep lab with, with wires and you know cameras and all that attached to you. We create this um, set of signals that indirectly measure what's going on inside of your brain. And, uh, we are happy to collaborate with Northern Light AKD Hospital and Activist Diagnostic to be able to get the science and research that has been done at the university into the marketplace and actually help save us all a lot in the healthcare system. So we have this wonderful triad of uh, local collaborators trying to slow or prevent Alzheimer's disease. There's really no other program like us north of Boston. Dr. Singer, every time Bill sees him, he shakes his hand and he says, thank you so much for, for doing this. And Bill says, well, I want to help. Dr. Singer, he's a wonderful man. He's just A number one. So I think I'm in great hands.